Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about the gene therapy. The first gene therapy was, was started in 1990 to a girl who is suffering from adenosine deaminase deficiency. There are two types of gene therapy which are available. One we have X Y O strategy of gene therapy and second we have in vivo strategy of gene therapy. So if you see in X Y O strategy of gene therapy, we will first take the cells from the patient. Okay, we will take the cells from the patient and we, we will see the cells with the defective gene. Okay, and to these cells, we will add the retrovirus which is carrying the normal gene. This is the retrovirus with normal gene. This retrovirus infects this, the, this cells of the patient and it enters into the cell of the patient. Okay, and it will produce the proteins or the function of normal gene. And thus these genetically combined cells are now given or can are given back to the or injected back to the patient. Right. So now with the help of this RDNA technology, this retrovirus containing the normal gene is injected back to the patient. Okay, let me again draw this again with color diagram so that it would be a better representation. See if this is a person. Okay, now I have taken some cells of the patients. Okay, and among these cells, I will identify the cells with the defective gene. Okay, so these are the cells with the defective gene. Now, in these cells with the defective gene, I will identify the gene and I will insert with the help of RDNA technology, I will insert the defective gene. You know, I will identify the defective gene and I will also find the normal gene of that defective gene corresponding to that defective gene. And that normal gene is um, incorporated into the bacterial or viral plasmid. Retroviral, retro, we can incorporate either it in retrovirus or bacterial plasmid. But because viruses can easily infect the human beings, so we um, take a retrovirus which has been genetically with which has the gene which is genetically engineered okay this is the retrovirus with the gene that is normal gene now this retrovirus uh, it will easily infect this cell so it has infected this cell okay now this retrovirus has infected this cell very easily now this retrovirus starts producing the gene the process started the retrovirus the gene which is normal gene which is present in the retrovirus that will get incorporated into the patient's cells or else that gene will start producing the mrna which will still produce the proteins which are required for these for its function so these cells are now given back to the patient okay through injection form this is how the uh, X Y O gene therapy is. Whereas in in vivo gene therapy, what do we do? In in vivo gene therapy, we will have some viral delivery systems, or without viral non-viral delivery systems, we will uh, change the viruses and we will infect the or inject the viruses to the patient. Here we are injecting the cells, okay, which are modified to the patient, whereas there, we are injecting the viruses itself to the patient. So, that is in vivo gene therapy. Now, what are these? Now, I said here we are using retrovirus, right? What is this called? This retrovirus which we are using, these are called as vectors. These vectors, vectors are those vehicles which are used to transfer the gene to the patient. So, in this, the most commonly used vectors is retrovirus vectors. And this retrovirus vectors, especially Molini murine leukemia virus, Molini, Mol, Moloni murine leukemia virus is most commonly used. But if it is a virus, doesn't it cause infection to us? Right? Did you have that question? Right. It will cause infection to us if we use the wild virus. 
but we are not using the wild virus. We will modify the wild virus and we will use the modified form of the virus. So if you see, this is the retrovirus DNA, RNA. It is a uh, retro, retrovirus, so it has RNA. So this is the retrovirus RNA with genes which are responsible for its pathogenicity. That is, we have, what are these genes? These genes are GAG, Paul and NV genes. GAG, Paul and NV genes. These are responsible for the pathogenicity. Now what we do is, we will first and foremost remove these GAG and Paul and NV genes and we will insert the human gene into the this RNA genome. So if this is the retrovirus RNA genome. So in this retrovirus RNA genome, we have removed that GAG, Paul and N and now we have added the human gene inside it. That is, that is you know, uh, desired. So we have added the desired human genome into the uh, RNA of the retrovirus. Okay. Now this naked viral RNA it will enter the human cells. Okay. No. So this naked uh, sorry naked viral RNA will get a protein coat to be assembled. And that protein coat, uh, after the protein getting protein coat, it can enter the human host cell. So for this to have a protein coat, okay, so this RNA is put into packaging cells. There are some cells called as packaging cells which are produced. Okay, so this is one packaging cell. Into this packaging cell, we have put this RNA. Okay, now what this RNA will do is this will transform itself, coil around itself and also it will start producing and this, this packaging cell will give an envelope to this virus. Okay, now this virus has been enveloped or packaged, right? Now, so we have a viral coat with it and this comes out of this packaged cell. So this is, what is this called? This is packaging cells. These packaging cells will give, will provide the um, vector RNA with the, co with the coat which is necessary. Which is the, with the outer viral coat which is necessary. So this is the, you know, uh, vector, I mean virus with the uh, gene. Okay. Now, uh, now it enters the human cell. It is ready to enter the human cell. Now we will see, take this as the big human cell. Now this retrovirus has it has the coat, viral coat that has the receptors. So with the help of these receptors, it can enter the host cell and it will release the genetic material. Now the genetic material has been released. Now in this genetic material, we have the human genome of interest. Okay. Now. This genetic material will now reach the nucleus of the cell. This is the nucleus of the host cell. And in the nucleus of the host cell, we have the host cell DNA. So this is the host cell DNA. Okay. So in this host cell DNA, this part of the, you know, the viral DNA will get incorporated. And definitely, if you see, the viral DNA has the desired human DNA, right? So as a result, even the desired human DNA is also incorporated, right? So with this process, we have got that uh, DNA or that genome which is deficient in these cells can be incorporated by incorporating the human genome into retroviral RNA, right? So this is, this cells can be given to the patient and if these cells multiply in the uh, cells of the in the body of the patient they can produce the desired enzymes or desired proteins or desired function so this is about the gene therapy so we are using retroviruses i told you right then if we are using retroviruses why are we using retroviruses see here these viral particles have been modified we are not injecting the wild virus if you see this is the wild virus wild rna of the the uh, Moloni murine leukemia virus. 
but we are not using using the, that wild virus. We are modifying it in such a way that it is safe for the humans. So this technology, this gene therapy with the help of this retrovirus is safe. It can infect a wide variety of cells because it's common that viruses infect host cell, right? It is in nature that viruses infect human cell. So we are just exploiting the um, property of nature and we are using it to cure or treat the diseases. So the if you see the disadvantages, disadvantages is for this to happen, we need to have the cells which are dividing. Imagine if this cell is not dividing, then what is the use of incorporating this uh, gene into this uh, nucleus of this cell, right? It should divide and this uh, these cells will only allow a low titer of viruses to be generated and for this uh, retroviruses can only take a human genome of length less than 25 kilo base pairs. They can only give a human genome of length less than 25 kilo base pairs to this uh, to, to this retrovirus. So that is the main disadvantage. So thank you guys for watching my lecture. Thank you.